it may only be a name on paper, but held and delivered by the Nobel Committee chair, the words and warnings carry weight. We live in a world where the risk for nuclear weapons being used is greater than it has been for a long time. With that message in mind, the committee chose a little-known association of NGOs with a little office in Geneva to receive this year's Peace Prize. Uh, very much uh, helpful. At the headquarters of ICANN, the international campaign to abolish nuclear weapons, word came by phone at first. So we were a little bit worried that it was a prank. Then the confirmation. Cheers. <laughs> Enjoy. In the battle to rid the world of nuclear weapons, the prize was a rare cause for celebration. This uh, Nobel Peace Prize it really is uh, very significant um, in terms of a timing. Significant because of two leaders, Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un, whose rhetoric has made nuclear war seem increasingly conceivable. Just two days ago, the head of the now Nobel winning group tweeted, Donald Trump is a moron. It was a joke, she said today, but... There are no right hands for the, for the wrong weapons. Uh, but um, so if you are uncomfortable with the idea of Donald Trump having nuclear weapons that he's able to launch, you're really uncomfortable with nuclear weapons in general. ICANN did get a landmark this treaty approved at the UN this year. Its goal, ban nuclear right. arms altogether. 53 countries have signed on though none actually possesses any such weapon. The ultimate objective and the goal to totally get rid of nuclear weapons is not something that we can achieve today or next year. That is not going to happen. The implementation of the treaty is extremely hard. The hope is nations are pressured to reduce their stockpiles at a time when they may be tempted to do the opposite. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, London.